All right, come on, come on back in. Hey, I'm waiting on you, man. Take so long. It's, it's trying to add you. I don't know why it does that. It was taking so long. Hello. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. You, go ahead, brother. Could you? All right. So uh, now, uh, back to what was that? Yeah. Uh, Ezekiel forty-five and twenty-two. You were saying something about um, the Most High and Isaiah is no longer going to accept animal sacrifices, but then I was saying so he's going to accept a human sacrifice instead of an animal. But go ahead. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You said it. See. In Ezekiel, it happens after Christ's sacrifice. It happens. It happens after Christ's sacrifice, not before. So, when I said that he was not going to accept any more animal sacrifices, that was after the atonement of Christ. So now, I was saying that the reason why Ezekiel was able to see the priesthood being performed was because the Most High always gave the visions, or at least ninety-five percent of it. He always gave visions to people about things they can relate to. So Ezekiel being involved in the priest, the priestly duties, he showed him something relating to the priestly duties. That's not saying that it was going to actually be literal sacrifices. So we go to the other we go to the other prophecies to show that. Okay. Uh so then you would have to deal with this then cuz I was only mentioning that real quick cuz I wanted to skip down and have you know get a brief answer on that because it continue on and says let me just read 22 again. It says, and upon that day shall, shall meaning like future tense, the prince, yeah. the prince prepare for himself and for all the people of the land a bullock for a sin offering. So this is something that shall happen. And I don't think it's just a vision that he's seeing. I mean, wh how would you explain that? But then it says, in seven days of the feast, he shall prepare a burnt offering to the most high, seven bullocks and seven rams without blemish daily the, the seven days and a kid of the goat daily for a sin offering. And he shall prepare a meat offering for an ephod for a bullock and ephod for a ram and an and, and hen of oil for an ephod. And the seventh month and the 15th day of the month shall he do like shall he do the like in the feast of the seven days according to the sin offering, according to the burnt offering, and according to the meat offering, and according to the oil. So they're being real specific and telling you exactly what they're going to be doing for the sin offering, but you're saying this is just a vision? I don't... What do you say? Well, is it, according to Ezekiel 40 and 2, this is a vision. Okay, and it's a... Which is a prophecy. Yeah, it's a, it's a vision of the future prophecy. Of a... Of a right. Of a prophecy to come, right? No, not to come now. No, see, no, no, no. Go ahead. It was go a ahead. prophecy. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was a prophecy dealing with the re-establishing. Sorry, the re-establishing of the priesthood mm -hmm. because the priesthood was going to fall and mm -hmm. fail. Mm -hmm. It actually failed. Right. So the re-establishing of the priesthood would come in in the new covenant. Okay. So when did the priesthood come there in? Was, in the new covenant after when? Christ's uh, resurrection. Oh, after so Christ's when resurrection. So when Christ resurrected the second time, right? And when they, I think the, the only the apostles saw him, correct? He, 
He only resur he only resurrected a one time. Okay, th that one time when he came back, the priesthood was established. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this right. Hold on, let me get you right. Yeah, yeah, he resurrected one time, and yes, the priesthood was established. The new priesthood. Okay, so if the priesthood was, was established, no. So the pre if the priesthood was esta established, that means they were also in the land, correct? They were in the land then. Okay, when so the priesthood was established once he came back, right? That's what you're saying. And what, right, what he was, scripture? But why, why? Why? Hold on. Okay, while Christ was on earth, while Christ was on earth. He was getting them ready for the priesthood to be kings and priests. Mm -hmm. So when he died, he died and he conquered death. Mm -hmm. When he resurrected, he was able to do away with the Mosaic covenant. That's what the whole death was. So he resurrected. Okay. And this brought in the new, the new priesthood. So now, can I show you about the no more animal sacrifices first? Okay, is that going to be in the in the Tanakh or the New Testament? Uh, Isaiah. Okay, I'm not okay. Uh, I'm not too tripping on that because I believe you're going to go to the scripture to where it was uh, uh, abomination for them to 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 sacrifice the animals, which was I believe in um, where he says he uh, a man sacrifices a, a, a ox for 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 a man. Are you going to go to that one? Okay, yeah, I'm not worried about that, brother, because we know the priesthood was corrupt, and that's why he wasn't accepting their sacrifices, anyways. But regardless. Well, well, but, but you, but you also about, know that this is a this was a hold on, hold on, hold on. But you know that this was dealing with the last day prophecies. No, that's not dealing with the last day prophecy. That's something that was dealing with that time. And and yeah, you could say in the last day prophecies too, or when Jeru right before Jerusalem fell, because during that time you had Gentile, uh, Gentile Jewish people living among Black Hebrew Israelites, and yes, the place was all corrupt. So with that being said, we have to establish around 70 AD to where the priesthood was reestablished and the prince came and did the sin offering for Israel, like it stated in, in Ezekiel's vision. That's what I'm trying to get to. So if anything, let's go to um, the priesthood being established. Like you said, they were established when, once Christ resurrected and he went into the heavens. The, the priesthood was established. So this priesthood was supposed to be righteous forever. So why did this priesthood fall if this was supposed to be the priesthood that you think that is talking about in Ezekiel uh, 45? Is this that priesthood or is this is this? What? I don't understand. Because no, this priesthood was Christ's corrupt priesthood all the way not. up until the priesthood that you're talking about in Isaiah was corrupted all the way up until 70 AD. This priesthood that's talking about in Ezekiel is uh, is the new priesthood that's going to be established with the new priest that you see is talking about in uh, Ezekiel 44. And this priesthood is going to be a righteous priesthood forever. There's going to be no corruption in this. So I'm trying to figure out, oh, we need to establish where, where did this priesthood, this righteous priesthood that says this prophecy and this prince, who was this prince that made this sacrifice? You see what I'm saying? And this is a, a little sacrifice. Hold on, give me one second. It's not like a spiritual one. All right, so now, once again, Isaiah the second chapter first. Okay, go ahead. Right? Excuse me. And it should come to pass in the last days. So this is a last days prophecy. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Isaiah 2 and 2. Yeah, go ahead. And it should come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountain mm -hmm. and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow to it. All right? Mm -hmm. It's the last days. Thing. Right, right. So then, right, that's you go to Isaiah... Yeah, you go to Isaiah 66, 66 and 19. 66. Hold on, uh -huh. let me get there. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. And I will set a sign among them, and I will send those that escape of them unto the nations, to Tarshish, Paul, and Lord. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, wait a minute. Where you at? You said 66 and what? 19. Okay, so you skipped 66 and 3. Okay, all right, go ahead. Yeah, because... And I will set a sign among them, and I will send those that escape of them unto the nations, to Tarshish, mm -hmm. Paul, and Lud, that draw the bow to Tubal and Javan, to the isles afar off, that have not heard my fame, neither have seen my glory, and they should declare my glory among the Gentiles. Right. And they should bring all of your brethren for an, for an offering right. unto the Lord out of all nations, upon horses and chariots, mm -hmm. and in litters, and upon mules, and upon swift beasts, to my holy mountain. Mm -hmm. the Lord, as the children of Israel bring bring an offering and a clean vessel into the house of the Lord. So now, 
we're seeing all of the people flowing into the mountain. Right, we see the Gentiles the bringing Lord. us back into the mountain, okay? Verse 21, and I will also take of them mm -hmm. the people Priest. that's coming. Priest right. and for Levites, said the Lord. So right. this is no longer, no, no, that ain't right. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, hold on. This is no longer the Levitical priesthood. This is no longer the priesthood under the Moses. Everybody is priest now. Let's reread it again just to make sure. Okay. I okay. will set a I will set a sign among them. I will send those that escape of them unto the nations to Tarshish, Pool, and Lud that draw the bow to Tabal and Javan to the isles afar off that have not heard my fame, neither have seen my glory, and they should declare my glory among the Gentiles. And they should bring all of your brethren for an offering unto the Lord out of all nations upon horses and in chariots and in litters and upon mules and upon swift beasts to my holy mountain Jerusalem, says the Lord. As Hallelujah. the children of Israel, <laughs> as the children of Israel bring an right. offering in the clean vessels unto the house mm. of the Lord. And mm. I will also, also take mm -hmm. of them. Priest. Them, right? No, them. no we got to get, we got to hit the them because okay, now, the them is us, brother. Oh, That's oh, us. Okay. It's going to take of them, us, Israel, priests. No, 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 no. wait, see, wait. This is no, 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 no. See, see, this is the difference. In the Mosaic covenant, all Israel wasn't priests. <laughs> only the Levitical. <laughs> oh, well, go ahead, go ahead, laugh. No, 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 Tell brother. Me I was, I, no, 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 no. All right, let me just let me just get this in real quick. Brother, you read it said, and I will take also. Man, my context is. is <laughs> it says, and I will you, take. Not, hold on, wait, hold on, wait, chill. And I will Go take ahead. also. I and I will also take of them, Israel that's coming there on those chariots and whatnot for priest. So you're gonna take some priest and Levites. No, no. no we are all no, kings no, and no, priests no. to the Most High. No, no, no. So no, the no, priest no, no. look up no, to the no, Levite. No. If we're, Wait, 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 hold on, chill, chill, chill. Let, me, let me say something. Hold on, wait, wait, I got you, I got you. I'm going to be real quick, real okay. quick. Um, remember when you said we're, we're to be a king, we're, we're to be a priest and kings to the Most High? So as you see here, it says, real quick, it says priests and Levites. We know that the Levites are priests. So why it says priests and Levites? Because he knows that we are considered priests because we look up to the Levites, okay? Facts. Well, that's your, that, okay, that's your but interpretation, so, so, but the Bible says... Okay, fine, that's okay, fine. You can say what you want to say. We can get the uh, okay. priest up in, in, in Exodus. But um, whatever. We, with that being said, so what you're saying about this right here, you're saying this is what... What, is, what are you saying this is? Uh, uh, this is this not is under the, the law of Moses, that's what you're saying? Exactly. This is the new priesthood. Okay, so you're saying this is concerning... Um, the new priesthood is going to be concerning the sacrifice, I guess, of Christ? Is that what you're saying? It's only going to uh, obtain the sacrifice no, of Christ? No, no. You, you, no, I never said it. No, I'm just the, saying, the like, what do you, I mean, I don't understand. So, what is this priesthood under? What, what you, type of laws you, you are you following? To see, this is the new covenant priesthood. Okay. Where every, where everybody is able to be kings and priests. Brother, we all kings and priests, what, though. Was you, hold on, but once you read it, you try to say some of Israel. I didn't say some. Will be kings and <laughs> you, you said some, and, and I tried to cut Yo, you, you off. Bugging, yeah. I, my, my brother, you said something and I tried to cut you off and you said, no, 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 let me finish. But we can rewind it once, once we're done. I don't know what you're talking about, some. Uh, unless you're saying priest and for, uh, uh, whatever, whatever. No, that's, okay. that's, that's, no. that's, that's, right. that's well, irrelevant. Let, that's let irrelevant. Let some of us going to be priests. Well, well, no. Some well, of us going to be well, no, it's not Okay. It's not irrelevant because it's not saying some, it's saying all. Okay, go ahead, brother. That's that's fine. That's fine. That's still irrelevant because right, so if you're now, saying, uh, let's see where you're at. You oh. said, um, and I will take and I will also take of them for them for priests and for Levites, saith the most high. Uh I don't know. Wait, wait, where were you reading that? This this all? Oh, yeah. Because yeah, you said I, and bring she'll bring all your brethren. Priesthood. Yeah, he's gonna bring all of us, the righteous remnant of Israel, back to the land. Okay, so but anyway, that's your that's your that's, that's your new priesthood because priesthood I feel right like there. you're trying to skip past the point. Let's not get off topic. Okay, no, 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 I'm not I'm not skipping, I'm not skipping past the point. The priesthood is under the new covenant. Okay, what does the, the new covenant, covenant obtain? What does the new covenant consist of? Under Christ, everyone can reign as priests and kings. Okay. Under okay. Christ. Okay, so you're saying there's no sacrifice? No more. 
No, I didn't say that. There's no more animal sacrifice. Where, where's that? Where's that at in the scriptures? Where's Where's it say? There's no. Did, where? So you have to give a scripture that even hints that says there will be no evermore any animal sacrifices unto the Most High God or something. Can you, Can we get, Can we get that in the New Testament or the Tanakh somewhere? Just to well, oh, kind of oh, oh. something or something that hints it at least, because I believe that's in Hebrews. But then we gotta. Yeah, well, let's, let's go to Hebrews. They say something like that in Hebrews. Hebrews shot itself in the foot. No, not at all, but let's, let's go to Hebrews. Yeah, you should be able to find it. It should be somewhere there in, in Hebrews. But while you're doing that, I'm going to do this. And then I got to go at 3.15. Damn, brother. Hold what on. time is it? Yeah, contacts, Aki. All right, because this is hilarious. Uh, that's a good one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't find a Hebrew for some reason. Uh, oh, only if I had enough time to get all this in. All right, Hebrews. Let's see here. What is that? Uh, priesthood chain. No, it's like the chain of the priesthood. Then it says something where somewhere in there where it says we don't ever have to sacrifice because Christ died for us once and for all or something like that, right? Uh, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, What it says is that the uh, off, uh the the Most High never was pleased with the offerings of bulls and goats. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, wait, what are you looking for? Uh, Let me type it in. Say it again. When, what is it? What's it go like? When the Most High was never uh pleased with bulls and goats. Okay, we know that from from the wilderness, but I'm saying like, this, it, I'm, I'm saying like in this new covenant, if we is there any scriptures or verses we can pull? From this this is the this is the new covenant. This is what the new covenant is about. So yeah, so go ahead. Uh, where is it? The, pull it from the new covenant where it says the Most High will never accept animal sacrifices ever again. Or he, you know what I mean? Because uh, we can get that in the old covenant where it says he was never uh, pleased with bulls and, and rams. That wasn't the point. Right, right. You can get that in the old covenant, but we're, we're talking about here while the new covenant was here. So I need to know what that, that verse is. All right, hold on. Let me see if I look it up. Hold on. I think, I think it's it right here. Uh, Hebrews 9 and 20. It's 10 and 4, I thought. Oh, wait. No, no. Isn't it 10 and 4? It is impossible for the blood. And, hold on. It is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. That's Hebrews 10 and 4. That's what the new covenant says. I'll be right back, Adi. Oh, yeah, that's it right there. All right, here we go, right here. Uh, dang, you gone? <laughs> oh, dang. Hey, uh, hey. <laughs> Hello? And uh, 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 Miss uh, Elizabeth, that's, that's actually a, a great point, too. So, uh, I want to hit this one, though. Hey, let me know when you're done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Miss Nancy said that, but I mean, Miss Elizabeth said that, and I want to uh, hit that one. But, but first, I want to hit uh, the going away. Oh yeah, he don't. Uh, I, I, 
See, y'all don't got enough time to formulate the whole spiritual sacrifice thing and the change of the priesthood. I only got enough to... Um, I'm going to hit uh, verse 6 through... Uh, six to nine, because Isaiah sixty six already talked about the new priesthood where everybody was a priest. Okay, go ahead, and brother. Possible under the Levit Levit All right, Isaiah ten. I'm gonna start at six. And burnt offerings yeah. and sacrifices for sin that have no pleasure. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written to me to do Thy will, O God. Quoted from Psalms, so he's speaking from Psalms. Above when he said sacrifice and offerings. And wait, 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 offerings you, you and um, what is, hold on, my bad. You read from Isaiah ten and what? No, Hebrews ten. Okay, ten and you start at six or four. Uh, I started at six, six. Okay, go ahead. And burnt offerings and sacrifice for sin that has no, had no pleasure, but said, I lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written to me, to do thy will, O God. Above when he said, sacrifice and offering, and burnt offerings, and offer for sin, that was not, neither had player, uh, pleasure therein, which are offered by the law. Then said he, lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. All right, okay. So, is this... Yeah, that was there was the first, he took away the first covenant under sacrifices so he might establish the second, which uh -huh. changed the sacrifices. And, okay. Right, it changed the sacrifices. Wait a minute. Go ahead, read that again. My bad. I'm looking at something. Just that last part. Oh, then he said, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first that he may establish the second. All right. Okay, so this is supposed to prove that. Um, that the new covenant doesn't have doesn't require any sacrifices at all, right? No, my brother, you keep saying it. It, it. it shows that the new covenant don't have any animal sacrifices. Animal sacrifices, right? My bad, my bad. Animal sacrifices, right? Okay. Um, when was the new covenant established? Uh, because we know uh, the most high says that throughout the on. books. Because hold on, wait. Let me get something. Let me get, let me get something real quick. Um, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. What you what you're quoting? That's all good and everything. Because Hold on, wait, hold on. Uh, because when you know when you read Isaiah 111, it's the same thing going on, nothing new under the sun. Because when we had wicked priests, they were causing all Israel to sin. So uh their sacrifices weren't accepted at all. It's throughout the whole entire book of Isaiah. So when we read Isaiah one eleven, the same thing is going on here. The multitude of your sacrifices, what are they to me? Said the most high. I have more than enough of burnt offerings of rams and the fat of, of fattened animals. I have no pleasure in blood of bulls and lambs and goats. So, and this is during the time when we know the, the priesthood is corrupt. So, what you're saying in Hebrews, you're pretty much saying, okay, he, he's replacing the blood. He's uh, replacing the, uh, the, the, uh, right. sacrifice, the sacrificial law uh, with himself uh, versus with the animals. So, he's not, he has no pleasure. The Most High says this in the old, in Tanakh. He has no pleasure in um animal sacrifices here either why because they're not given to them righteously it's their wicked sacrifices that the priesthood is just constantly setting up they're, they're like sinning, sinning willingly and then sacrificing to them the next the very uh next day or at that time all right so with that being said i got a question for you when was the new when was the new uh covenant established to where we no longer have to do sacrifices uh Oh, uh, for everybody, a uh, 70 AD. <laughs> Brother, why do you keep saying 70 AD? <laughs> you funny. Because that's when the temple was. That, that's what? when the temple was destroyed, and ain't nobody. That's when the temple was destroyed. And nobody had did a sacrifice in 70 AD. So after Christ died, that did that didn't cover the sacrifices. That mean. When Christ died, they was going through, a, and, and I stated this: when Christ died, they was going through a transition. Well, I might not say it to you. When Christ died, so they sacrifices were still acceptable, man, even died. when Christ was dead. That's what you're saying. Yeah. So he died yeah, for nothing. Animal because... sacrifices was. Really? No, sir. Okay. You're saying that. I didn't say that. I said there's a transitioning between the old covenant and the new covenant. See, I'm not like the other brother. You can't get me with that. I'm not doing it. There was a transition between. It was a transition between the old and the new covenant. It just didn't stop one day. It just, he died and we stopped doing all this stuff. No, sir, it was a process. That's why the Most High had them destroy the temple. But I also want to touch that Isaiah that you, that you pulled from. The difference between what was going on in Isaiah's time and what was going on in Christ's time 
what was going on between the, the writer of Isaiah and the writer the writer of Hebrews. Isaiah was doing uh, dealing with the Babylonians. Hebrew was dealing with the Romans. According to Daniel 2 or Daniel 7, the time of the end was going to be during the Romans' time. So that's the difference. The time of the end wasn't during Babylon's time. So that them not doing that is not as significant as them not doing it during the, the prophecy of the time of the end. It's two totally different things. It's the same action, but the power behind it is two totally different. Okay, I'm kind of... In Daniel, it ends... In Daniel, it ends and never comes back. Uh, no. You don't understand what I said? No, no, no. no. I, I mean, I, okay. understand just, I understand what you're saying, but I'm, I'm, I don't know if that was answering my question. But anyways, uh, I think we... I don't know if we got off topic or whatnot. But, I mean, it, um, so, I mean, so I mean, wait a minute. I mean, it's... It, it should have. Hey, brother. <laughs> it should have. No, that didn't. It kind of felt like it was off topic. Um, so after Christ's death, oh, well. right? After oh, Christ's well, death, uh -huh. I guess you should explain that again after I say this. After Christ's, this Jesus character's death, then uh, sacrifices were still being accepted by the Most High God. That's what you're saying. No, I never said it was being accepted by the Most High God. I said they were still. No, being but they were still being. So um, it was still. It was still being done, though, right? Huh? Sacrifices were still being done. Say it again. Sacrifices were still yes, being done. Yes, the Levitical done. priesthood. Right. The, the, when Christ well, died, they, okay, the when no sacrifices were being done. Hold on, wait a minute, brother. Let me one question at a time. Just yes or no. What you mean? Yeah, yeah or nay. You ain't got to explain it. I'll, well, no, you can't. You, no, I, no, I, no, I, no, I, no, I, no. You can't tell me how to answer a question. You can't tell me how to answer a question. I'm not gonna do that to the whole. Wait a minute, though. So since after Christ died, you said sacrifices were still being done. Um, were those sacrifices yeah. being accepted by the Most High? No. But they were still being done? Correct. Why? Because the Levitical priesthood was under the Mosaic Covenant while everybody else was under the New Covenant. So the, Le the, Levitical, the Levitical priesthood was in the wrong? Uh, of course they was. So what was Paul doing? What you mean what Paul was doing? Why is he doing a Nazarite vow which requires a sin, uh, a sin sacrifice? In uh, exactly. Acts 21. Exactly. It was a transitioning between the Old Covenant and the New Covenant. But if we if we recall, they told Paul to do that. It's not something that Paul said, hey, I'm going to go do a sin. That's not what happened. <laughs> they, they, they required Paul So they to forced him to do it, huh? That's well, what one brother told uh, me. One brother you, told you, me. Um, oh, did you read it? Yeah, no, one brother told no, me did that. did you read it? No, all right. I've read it. Well, what, I'm just trying to give you the excuses right. that I'm being, I'm giving, I'm getting from you, brothers. One brother told me that, oh, it was still okay until the because the temple was still standing. But once the temple was destroyed, there would be no sacrifices. I'm like, huh? That don't make no sense. But let me read your book in Galatians 2:21. It says, "I do not frustrate the, the grace of the Most High, for if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain." So, right? Um, is the temple destroyed at this time when Paul wote this letter? Because he's talking about the sacrifice no. law. So what the hell no, no, was he talking no. about? He was talking about the whole Mosaic law. But he was doing performing the Mosaic law in Acts 21. Once again, what was the time period of Galatians? What was the time period of Acts? You got to go through all of the dates to understand. Wait a minute, the brother. I don't know so that. was the temple destroyed when he in when he wrote this letter to the Galatians? No. He was telling the Galatians that. They did not have to worry about the, the things pertaining to the law of Moses because if they did, that means Christ died in vain. Okay, so wait a minute. Paul doing his sacrifice, was that a good thing? Was that a righteous thing for him to do or was he in a sin? What was he doing? No, he did it because they asked him to do it. Okay, bro, so they asked him to do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My bad. Hey, brother, hold on, are look. you listening? I got you. I'm a, I got no. you right now. I'm going to cover you on that. So they're asking Paul you, to perform a sacrifice just so the other Jews can believe him, right? In fact, that's, that's exactly what the text says. Okay, okay. But, that's, that's, I'm just breaking down but, so we don't have to, because I got to go. Oh, damn. I got to go right now, actually. But, um, so oh, technically. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold you go, go, wait a minute, brother. I'm going to be real quick. I'm being real quick. We just established that, that the, the only reason that Paul did the sacrifice in Acts 21, because the other Jews said, just do it so they can believe you, man. Just go ahead and do the sacrifice so they know you ain't talking against the law because they don't understand the law right well, now. Well, what, what it sounds like. Yeah, sound that's pretty like much what it sounds uh, like. I feel you. Okay. Hello. What it, no, what it sounds like is you did, you pulling the Sakari and you answer, you asking all the questions and, and one No, to brother, that's answer. what I'm trying to skip to the next one. I'm trying to get my point. But you, what we're, 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 we're hitting, we're uh, establishing it 
Yeah, yeah, I'm not letting you not answer the questions. I'm saying, okay, whatever. No, no, but no. We're both you're not, you're not letting me ask any questions. No, no, you're not letting me ask you any okay, questions. Okay, go ahead. That's the problem. Go ahead. Okay. Luke 21, 22, when he said all things are fulfilled will be written, what was he talking about? When he said all things are fulfilled that are written of me, is that what you're talking about? No, that's not what he said. He said these are the days of vengeance that all things which were written may be fulfilled. What was he saying? He said that a couple of times. Who knows what the guy was saying? No. He's, he's been lying. He's no, been he, found a lie. No, he didn't say that a couple of times, actually. Okay, let us let's let me get that then. Go ahead. Hold on, let me get... um. Luke, let me get this lying Luke. Lying Luke. Yeah. I, uh, I, I like Luke, how, what chapter? I like how my brothers don't like the Bible. I like how my brothers don't like the Bible. Yeah, I don't Luke like the New, I don't and... like that new that Greek Testament. I like the Tanakh. But um, what is it? What, what uh, chapter was that? Uh, 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 oh, if what I chapter had enough time. Uh, twenty one and twenty two, I believe. Luke twenty one, twenty two. Okay. Hold on. Okay. What the hell? 21, 22, right? Yeah. Luke 21, 22. Hold on, bro. I'm just skipping to it. So I'm a clear shot. Well, I, ain't got to ask, I ain't got to ask you no question. You just keep asking a bunch of them. I, I, got, I, got, I, 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 had, I had two the or three questions. questions no, for you. Had, but the question we, I was answering, I was asking you. I was just asking if you agree or not, and then we just kept moving on. That's why it, sound, it felt like I was just asking all, all the questions. Yeah, yeah, you was asking questions. I didn't ask one. Just, just... <laughs> no matter how you phrase it, if, if I ask zero questions and you ask two or three, I still haven't asked a question. You can't phrase it like a hell, but what, what's, the, what's the answer, man? What was he talking about? Well, all things which are really made me feel. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm pulling up two stuff because I want to, I want to show you something. <laughs> okay, so. Here we have in Luke 24, 44, it reads, he said to them, this is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about oh, me. I, I already, and, and my brother, I, my brother, hold on, hold on. Before you, before you even pull that, I already pulled it. I okay, pulled it says, that's, hold on, wait, let me, it said Luke 21, what, 22. Right? I, I already know the scripture. Yeah, that's okay, what he's so talking for about. This is the time after of his punishment. resurrection. Hold on, let me read it. It says, there this is go. the time of yeah, punishment and fulfillment of all that has been written. So what is he talking about? No, I'm asking you. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> he is contradictory. Oh, okay. then, well, so can you explain well, well, what he's talking about? I, I sure can. You remember you asked me about Ezekiel? Yeah. You remember Ezekiel was written by the time Christ but by the time Christ said that? You said Ezekiel was in a Babylonian captivity. He wasn't doing the time. Of okay, so let, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So let me let me say it again. Was Ezekiel written in scrolls by the time Lucas made that comment that Christ Yes, did. it was. Okay, then. So now, Christ said all things will be fulfilled. So you asked me, when was Ezekiel fulfilled? Christ said all things going to be fulfilled by that time. So there you go. Ah, you lying. So, I have enough. <laughs> Hold on. I, I'm lying. No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> what, what? You so, it, it, so, so the Bible don't say that. All right, no, let, no, let, no. Let, I want to show you something. No, you funny, right, well, bro. Show me. Show it to me. No, oh, show, I, show me then. You're saying... <laughs> You're saying that Christ is saying everything that was written in the Old Testament was is fulfilled, bro. My, 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 my brother, my brother. So then when you Christ have to show me scene, in the New Testament. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, hold my on. bad. You have when to show Christ, me. When, okay, hold on, wait. You have to... was... Go ahead. Hold on, let me say this real fast. When Christ was on the scene, on the scene, there was only a Tanakh. It right. Wasn't a New that's Testament. what I'm about to get to right now. Right. We're about to we're about to find out yeah, if that's yeah. true. If it was only a Tanakh, yeah, yeah. right? And we know that. Yeah. We had all the scribes and the, and, the, and the priests, right? And they were they read all the prophecies concerning what, what was, go, was was supposed to happen in the old in the Tanakh, yeah, right? They did. Why would yeah. then Peter say this? Peter declared, "Even if I have to die with you, I will discern you." All of the other disciples said the same. Why was he? Why was he saying? Why was he being so shocked about the fact that Jesus had to die? Didn't they know he had to die? They had the Tanakh with him. Okay, so now at that point. 
was Peter's eyes open to the scriptures. Oh, now we can see if his eyes open. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Well, the answer is no. So, so, but, so, I mean, that's the answer. But anyway. So, wait a minute. You're said, telling me these brothers had to not for over for how many years? Their whole lives. They grew up in it and everything in Jerusalem. And their eyes have never been open until Jesus stepped on the scene. And they said, oh, now I understand the scriptures. Like, now, now, well, my brother, now uh, I understand the, the prophecy that yeah, is talking my about. Because if their eyes was never open, the what least, prophecies would they could have been understanding to begin with? The, the Levites, they didn't understand nothing to the uh, spirit. The spirit was poured upon them. But anyway, the Levites had uh, the new, the, they had the, uh, the Torah the whole time, and they still didn't even understand the law. That's written in uh, Josephus. But anyway. Mm -hmm. I want to know what was all, all the things written must be fulfilled. Yeah, I want to know that so because are you, can you can you no, no, no. get that so for us? Saying, get that for us. Are you saying that? Are you saying that some of the things was was fulfilled? No, I want to see things, get that get that for us in the New Testament where he said all the things in Ezekiel and in Daniel and Hosea and Isaiah are fulfilled. Can you get that for us, please? Don't yeah, worry, he, he said all things. Yeah, right. Because he said all things written. Why would he go through each prophet when he said all things written? Written there of, was only a Tanakh of, written. So. so that just means everything. No, he didn't written. say of me. No, he no, he, he didn't say of me. So he said let's of see me if Jesus is lying. Then. How about that? Let's see if Jesus is lying. Since Once he said again, all things is written, he right? Said, he said of me, dealing with the resurrection. <laughs> then he said all things dealing with the destruction of the temple. Hold on, so wait, now wait, you can wait, go wait. ahead. So wait, are you talking yeah, about the other Luke? You're talking about Luke 24, then you went going back to Luke 21? No, no, Luke 24 was about the things written of him dealing with right. the res his resurrection. Uh -huh, Luke uh -huh. 21 was all things written dealing in the Tanakh period. Mm -hmm. All prophecies. So let's see if Christ lied. Let's yeah, see if let's Christ see. lied. Let's go. Let's, let's see if he lied. Let's see. Let's, um, let's see. Ezekiel 47. Well, actually, man, we got off topic a little bit, man. Hold on, man. Well, no, really, because we I showed you this. We're, we're still supposed to be talking about the uh, the Levites. I don't want to get I don't I get away you, from that, man. I, I showed you the fulfillment of every. No, you didn't show me anything. In the Tanakh. So okay, well, so what are the, uh, what are the Levites? Because in this, in our new covenant, why are the Levites been set back up? <laughs> we are the priests. Okay, so are we in the land? Why are we not in the land? We don't have to be in the. We don't gotta be. So in what the is land. Ezekiel forty-seven about then? I just told you he was having Okay, hold on, wait a minute. Let me get you real quick. Let me get you right, because this is about to smash your whole jump, man. This is the dagger. This is the, yeah, I'm gonna get you gonna, with the fatality not, real quick. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna not, get you with the fatality, do dog. You it's funny, gonna man. You're <laughs> not gonna do it. See, See what happens, to, man? To not only has so many problems that they can't deal with nothing. Oh, it's okay, hard. okay, okay. Oh, really? Because I can pull out Yeah, I, I, I can prove it. Okay. Once you um, get done, I can, I okay, can prove brother, it. uh Ezekiel is about us, literally, the whole chapter is about splitting the land according to the 12 tribes right. of Israel. So, right. even the strangers I, I, got I a know. land. So we got 12, right. I know, I know, 12 I know parts of the land, and we even right. got a, the strangers got a land. Uh, so when did we get back into, when did Israel get back into the land and the land was split can, in 12? Can you, can you show us that? Can, can, I ask, can, please? Can, can, can I ask you a question with a question? Go ahead. What empire was this supposed to happen? What empire was it supposed to happen? Yeah. You tell me. This is the last day. This it's is the only, end time prophecy. Right. So this it's is right. what happened during the Babylonian right. period. It's only four empires in Daniel and then the judgment. So this happened Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait. Empire. Wait. Stop skipping. Don't don't run. Well, let's I'm, deal with I'm this. Not, this is I'm, an end time I'm prophecy not, in Ezekiel 47. Right. This is a, no, we ain't going to Daniel. We right. understand Daniel what's going hold to happen. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, no. Well, let me. This is a latter day prophecy. I know it is. Let me explain. So, it. okay, okay. Dan so now you're gonna, okay, said, you're about you're about to explain that Israel right. went back into the land and the land was parted in twelve, and every tribe was in his own land according to their tribe. Every person was in their own land according to the tribe and the strangers. Right. Land. Go ahead. Right you're wrong. now. Right. Bet, bet. So Go now, ahead. Daniel seven says it's going to be four beasts, and then judgment day was going to happen. And it says the judgment day was going to happen during the fourth feast, which was Rome. Rome is no longer ruling today. Mm -hmm. Therefore, therefore, what? Daniel lets it be known that judgment was going to happen. So now, 
What you're saying in Ezekiel cannot go past Judgment Day. And if Judgment Day happens during the Roman Empire, by default, it has already happened. Bro, you uh, you making no sense. I I'm I'm okay. Well, 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 let me say it again. Can't nothing inside the Bible, uh -huh. period, go past the fourth beast in Daniel? Can't nothing. Can't no prophecy so, bypass the fourth beast. So you're saying no prophecy. Can't no prophecy bypass the fourth beast. Did did you? I don't know why you skip or ran from the question, or you just jump to a completely subject, different subject. I'm okay. You, you, I, so you're telling me I thought you was gonna show me where the land was parted in twelve and where all Israel okay, returned so back now, to the land. Okay, so now I'm I'm showing you. See, this is this is what you wait a minute. Well, okay, fine. Hold on, wait a minute, real quick, real quick. My bad, not to cut you off. Or nothing. So this is gonna be a yes or no question. Are you about to tell show me where the land when we went when they went back in the land and it was split it in twelve and the gates were back up? Yes no, or no? I'm, I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna no. Yeah, I'm gonna okay, ask you. No, you're not gonna show oh, me. So oh, you're not oh. gonna answer the question. Okay, so so now. So you're not gonna answer the question. Hold on, hold on. I mean, you're not gonna I mean, answer you, the you question. Can, you, can do, you, you can do that Hebrew Israelite thing all day. But I'm, I'm, I'm not, bro. Just go. Yeah, that's what you're doing. But you said you're not gonna so answer. So what we gonna do? Well, okay. Well, let me tell my people that's listening here. They ain't gonna answer it. What we gonna do? That's why my brother don't like prophecy, and I love. Okay, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Daniel seven and verses seven through twelve says during the fourth empire judgment day occurs so nothing in the bible can go past rome's empire so in today rome is not ruling so anything oh, really? that you're oh yeah really really rome's so not ruling that, rome right, is not well, ruling i mean today. we can no, go to sir, the whole thing and say oh who are the romans you, 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 know, can go you can go ahead you can go ahead everybody <laughs> i'm not gonna say rome is ruling though i'm not gonna do right. that Right, everybody that got a computer, Google when was Rome destroyed and look at the date. Yeah, so now, I know. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. I'm not gonna right, say right, Rome was Rome ruling, was and you know, because I know when it's right. his daughter of right. Babylon. You can't do that because because I hey you, hey bro, no, listen. You, you can't do that either. You can't no, do that hey, either. Oh, wait so I'm not even saying that yet because you still run from the other question. But I'm gonna give the I'm, gonna give I'm the not point. running. I'm so not now, gonna say that. Ezekiel. Hey, hold on. Let me uh, was, hold on, bro. Let me let me get it worded. All right. I'm not gonna say. That um, I'm not going to get into the whole uh, spiritual cities and stuff like that because we obviously know when it says daughter of Babylon, that's talking about a place that's trying to be like Babylon. That's not talking about an uh, actual land that's called the daughter of Babylon. That's a fact. You know that, right? Correct or wrong? What? Well, it's, no, no. In Psalms, the daughter of Babylon and my brother it's a land? Got out on a debate. In Psalms, Psalms, the daughter of Babylon was referring to Edom. Okay. But is that a, that's a, the, the land of Edom? That's what you're saying? That's, no, that's a nation. Okay, but Babylon was a place. So what are you talking about? You're talking about... Yeah, I know. See, they, see, you can get all no, no, confused no. and whatnot. No, no, that's no. why I'm not saying... No, I'm not hey, I'm going to say that this is the daughter are you of talking Babylon. About, no, are you talking about Babylon? Is daughter, daughter of Babylon, Babylon a place, a literal place? It's a nation. Okay, it's a nation. A nation of people. A na a nation <laughs> okay, of people. It's a, it can be considered a nation of people. It can be considered a place. And like you said, or yeah, like Edom, like you said, a nation of people. But that's what I said. Okay, so anyways, all right. Um, which is not, which is not wrong. Which is not. Okay, wrong. we're not dealing with wrong. I don't care about wrong. Okay, because I know you're trying to. I know I you're going know. on. And, and, that's the, and, and, so, and that's the problem, though. brother. Hold on, Daniel wait a minute. Said, <laughs> wait a minute. Hey man, this you crazy. laughing and goofing all day. This man is a clown, man. Brother, you this you stuck crazy. on dummy doctrine, man. This man said he will not answer Ezekiel this forty-seven. Is crazy. <laughs> okay. No, I, I said, anybody, no, I'm not gonna answer because it don't come. I, no, no, no. I challenge anybody out there to show me any prophecy that can go past Rome rulership. Okay, so so just because you can't understand, uh, the, you, not, you're saying it doesn't understand. go past, it's, or you can't not, understand Daniel. No, you're saying you can't explain not, Ezekiel 47, it, it, which is the gates being put me, back up, it, which everybody being in the not, land. No. It's, it's not me understanding. This is what's so going on. So wait a minute. On. Okay, Why hold is, on. Hold is Ezekiel 47 fulfilled? Yes or no? Yeah or no? Yes. Yes. Okay, but before you just said you couldn't answer it. No, that's not what I said. <laughs> you asked me, could I tell about you, my brother? I mean, you've been dis, you've been dishonest right now. You asked me, can I tell I about said, the splitting said, when the splitting occurred? You didn't say nothing about it being fulfilled. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No sweat. That's why I said because you said you was going to explain it, and then you said no. Right. So if you can't tell so us now, when we, they went back into the land and I, when they parted the I land can. according to each tribe, when, when okay, where okay, is that so at? Now. Show us that in the New Testament, please. 
Okay. New so, Testament. So now, okay, so now, the gathering occurred during the destruction of the temple, according to Matthew. I need the scripture, please. Chapter and verse. Don't worry, I'll Matthew wait. Matthew 24. Well, well, I'm glad you're waiting. Matthew 24 and uh, give me one sec. Okay. I think it's Matthew 24 and uh, 24. Oh, sweet. Hey, guys, look. It's about to tell us that Israel went back into the land and they got the land according to each tribe and they parted the land and everything. So I, I can't wait to see this. All right, bet. Matthew 24 and is it 24? I can't get to my Bible right now. Okay, yeah, you got to find it, bro. Because it? it says 24 and 24 just I will says... Gather I will gather them out of all nations, right? Yeah, give me the, what, what, what chapter and verse? In Matthew 24, I thought it was, uh, dang it. Matthew 24. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Matthew 24 and, let me get ya. Matthew 24 and, look at the world in this, uh, Uh, 31. Matthew 24 and 31. I don't know if you heard me or not. Okay, hold on. Let me, okay, let me get that. Okay. I thought you were about to read it. Okay. I'm about to, I'm, yeah. I'm waiting for, I'm actually unloading real quick. Hold on. Okay, it's about to tell us that, you know, Israel went back into the land. He parted the land according to the tribes. And it reads, uh, it says, and he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds from one end of the of the heavens to the other. Is this in red, by the way? It is oh, who? Okay, so when did this happen? I mean, this this, is, this has nothing about going into the land and parting it with 12, parting it according to the tribe. Okay, okay, so so him gathering all of the elect ain't them being gathered into the land. Brother, I just asked you specifically, I said, brother, do you know a scripture to where it says, shows Israel going see, back into is, the land see, and is, the this, land being parted crazy, in 12 uh, according to the tribes? You sent me here. So I, I just showed him a scripture where it says the most uh, Christ was going to gather. Sorry, the Christ was going to get the angels together, all of the elect, which is Israel, from one end of heaven to the other, which would be them gathering in the land. And my brother what? said, "No, I want to see the, I want to see the specific words where this is going to happen." My brother, that does not happen in the entire Bible. What are you talking about? What this right here in in the in this in the, what Matthew twenty four thirty one. Spe specific wordings. No, Matthew 24 and 31 happens when Matthew uh, 24 and 34 says that generation, which is the same reason why Christ was able to say this brother, generation, all brother, things written will be fulfilled, Aki. which is the reason why Daniel 7 is able to say judgment day was going to happen during the first generation. This is this is easy stuff. It's just my Tanakh people only. They don't <sighs> like brother. it. They don't, they don't like it. Y'all not going to like it. No, 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 no. This is the thing, brother, because we know that Tanakh is, it, it makes more ten, ten times more sense than this this Greek testament, you know. It's well, not the new well, the sun, I, but yeah, they got a new. Uh, well, well a new I, testament. I, 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 I can't say. First of all, you uh, you're abusing that nothing new under the sun. You got to keep all Bible verses in context. Brother, so you can't make anything with it tonight. You can't just pick out a random book that Flavius Josephus, the head of uh, the head uh, author so of the New Testament, and then put it in. You know what typology so is. Hold on, hold on. So now, yeah, of course I do. So now you cannot look. Look what the brother said. Okay, wait now a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Let's excel. We we getting off topic because that, that's how you run. You getting off topic. Wait a minute. Brother, I didn't already. I hold didn't on, show you Aki. We ain't getting off topic. Look, All right. So what did you just say? Luke twenty-one twenty-two. You said, um, you Luke twenty-one said, twenty-two. That's the fulfillment. Luke twenty-one twenty-two. That's the fulfillment of Ezekiel. Okay. Luke twenty-one twenty-two. Hold on. Wait. Wait. You you going? You said Luke twenty-one and twenty-two. Yeah. The fulfillment of Ezekiel. Luke 21, 22. Period. Okay, I can't wait to see this. How it's going to break down, you know, how... The, see, my, my point. Why was Christ... Why do you think Christ oh, well, you was said 21 and trying what? to break down every prophecy? Hey, brother, hold on. What you say? 21 and what? 22. Christ didn't come to break down every prophecy. He came down to so tell you what, the hell you what every prophecy... What the hell is he for? Come on, man. 
Once again, he came to tell you when the prophecy was going to be fulfilled. He's not here saying, I break down this prophecy. This <laughs> prophecy. <laughs> now you got to come up with little, little excuses. This, this is... I'm telling you the truth. Oh, Nobody man. did it. Okay, so now. Okay, wait a minute. Week, my Luke 22, 21? No, 21 and 22. Hold on. Don't worry, you can't get around it. You can't get around it, I know. The only way you can get around it is say he lied. That's the only thing you can do. Oh, he lied. That's the only way you're going to get around Obviously, it. Obviously, right? Because uh, it didn't happen. Exactly, see? <laughs> That's the only way to get Brother, around this it. Does not, I went to the verse. This does, says nothing no, about no, Israel going into the land and the land being parted in 12. Hey, y'all, listen. He, he said it says nothing about Israel going into the land and the land being parted in 12. Do you mind if I read it? Can I read it? Go ahead. Can I read it? Go ahead. All right, then. Well, let me let me read Luke twenty one since, since my brother said. Go ahead, man. Okay, now so Luke Luke twenty one and twenty two. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. So now all I gotta do is go to what was written. I can go to Ezekiel because Ezekiel was written at that time. Bingo. It was fulfilled. Sad man. Man, I know, man. Brother, believing that so, Bible, believing brother, that, hey, believing that Bible was sad, man. Okay, all right, I'm about Bible. to end this because I gotta go, real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, believe so that you're Bible. telling me the Bible says Ezekiel, right? Hold on, chill out. Let me get this. Now I'm, I'm out of here. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. Right. Uh, I'm gonna get this verse. So I gotta go. And what he's done next? <laughs> yeah, who got? Who? who I mean, damn, man. But anyway, yeah. so. Next. This brother is because I'm in this. I'm in this right here. This brother is telling us that Ezekiel the in the chapter of Ezekiel, Ezekiel wrote this whole. He just wrote this whole thing down. They just had this documented all in uh, in chapter 47 because we know there wasn't no chapters. But I'm just gonna say chapter 47. They documented Israel going into the land, and they specifically documented how the land was gonna be split according to the tribes and the length of the land. <laughs> And the gates getting put back up in the, in the whole entire chapter of Ezekiel 47. And then Christ comes and says, that has been fulfilled. Let me read this. And I should believe you. Let me read this. And I should believe you. I should believe you. I should believe you over Christ. Let me read this. I should believe you over Christ. No, 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 no. Let me read this. That, so Ezekiel, uh, Ezekiel going into detail about uh, how, the, how the land is going to be split uh, according to this length, to that length, from that land to well, this really? land. All of that is irrelevant for some odd, ridiculous reason. But let me, for, for let, me, audience, let me read this. I, hold on, 24. Hold on, let me read this. Let me read this. Hold on, let, Proverbs 24 hold on, 7, audience. man. <laughs> Wisdom is too high for fools, man. He yeah, opened I know. his mouth not at yeah. the gate. <laughs> and with that, people, right, he now. can't prove that we went back into the land. All right, now, Yo, for everybody It's else, sad, Aki. Y'all got to get away from the spiritual right. savior, man. And, I, and you know what? I, I right. came up with the conclusion. I, I, I figured out why someone would say all all scripture is fulfilled or all everything has been fulfilled in the Tanakh. The only reason they would listen say to, that is because the they American. love being in the land of their oppressors. And if they had to listen think to even American. for a second that they got to live without their oppressors, they would go crazy. With that, fam, this brother to, Shalawan. This brother trying to say, this brother, <laughs> yeah, good job, good job. The brother trying to say what people failed 2,000 years ago. The people who didn't know nothing about America he trying to say what they felt 2,000 years ago. See, this is one thing hard. And, and y'all, I didn't want to touch that Ezekiel 47 is actually talking about the kingdom of heaven and how the land inside of the kingdom of heaven was going to be departed. There was no need for me to even hit that because I knew he wasn't going to be able to get past Luke 21, 22. So who's next? Because it's a powerful scripture that can't nobody get... get you can't beat it. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. Jacob, Jacob Child, you next, my brother. To start. <laughs> the brother said, hey, even though Christ said all things will be fulfilled, Christ lied. And y'all listen to that clown. He don't even believe in Christ. He said Christ lied and said the reason why Christ would say that is because Christ loved being in oppression. He loved being under the Roman Empire. So much that he would say that all things will be fulfilled. Oh, my brother. Hey, I'm ready. Go, let's go ahead and invite you in. Jacob Child, you're next. Can you add yourself in? 
I can do this all day, y'all. Cause the, cause the, cause the, <laughs> right. Right. The brother said, yeah, uh, the reason why somebody would say all things would be fulfilled because they love their oppressors. Hmm. Really? That's what, that's why Christ said. Hey, how you doing, brother? Man, man. So, hey, Jacob Child, go ahead and come on in, man. You the next contestant on Let's Prove That Doctrine Is Not Right. Oh, go ahead and prep, man. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. I'm already prepped up, man. It just Two or three verses pretty much destroys everybody's doctrine that says Christ has not returned yet. It only takes two or three verses. It's nothing even to prep work. I'm telling y'all, that's why Mr. Bell took it easy on the guy. And that's why when the guy started talking about the transatlantic slave trade and stuff, we knew the debate was over. There's nothing else to talk about. We want to talk about the second coming of Christ. You want to talk about how cursed the people are. How can the people be under the Mosaic curse, under the Mosaic covenant, when Christ said in Luke 21 that by the time the destruction of the temple occurred, everything will be fulfilled? That, inc that includes the curses. It's simple. Man, this is... Will, say, Will Bell is your guy. Now he just know the Bible. He's been doing it 40 years. I'm sorry if we don't go around telling people that you got to rock, rock strings on your clothes, but you don't got to sacrifice you can pick and choose and do whatever you want to out the Mosaic Covenant. Just do it the best of your abilities, even though the Most High never said at one time ever in the Bible, do my covenant, Israel, with the best of your ability. He never commanded that. He always commanded obedience. It's never been with the best of my abil of your ability. And he never said at one time, I'm going to give you a, co a covenant. And later on, I'm just going to redo the covenant like I want to do it. That's why he gave them a new company. This is this is easy, man. Yeah, yeah right. Tell 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 uh, tell him, Caleb. <laughs> tell him, Caleb. This ain't no prep work. What is he doing, man? Hey, let hey, let him uh let him pull all of the stuff though. Let him pull. This is stuff like brother Caleb. This is stuff that uh if you're gonna um. Uh, Talk amongst the Hebrew Israelite community. I don't know if that's something you want to do or not do, but if you want to, this is, conversation like this will help you out to see the different point of views. Because if my brothers live, if they live during um, the uh, Babylonian, Medo Persia, and Greek and Roman time, they will be perfect for that civilization because they live by the old covenant, which that civilization was. Was part of but they live in america now which is no longer that civilization hey have a blessed one man see they out of their time zone they're out of the timeline and they don't want to jump out of the timeline because they just found out that they was the children of israel were descendants of the children of israel and according to their mosaic covenant the children of israel had power and had some authority so they want to stay in that covenant as long as they can see in the new covenant even though it's given to the children of Israel through spirituality, anybody could become the child of, of, of God, the children of Israel. So that kind of takes some of the power away. They want to stay in that power. So they, they'll stay in their new co I mean, their old covenant as long as they can. Even though they know that they can't do none of the stuff outside of the land, they know that. We'll make ways to do it. And I'm not knocking my brothers. I love my brothers and sisters. As long as they love Christ, I, I, I love them. And I hope that they come around. But when, 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 they, when they try to be uh, sarcastic and funny, you know, I'm a, hey, I like joking. I can be sarcastic and funny also. So we just can be sarcastic and funny together. But the point is, I don't take none of the stuff to heart. And other people get mad and they be wanting to fight and stuff. So, I mean, that is what it is, man. But if you can't handle the heat, get out the kitchen. If you can't handle it, don't dish it. Cause I like having fun, man. I like enjoying life. I love it all, man. I love it all. Once again, I just I, I just made that brother say, uh, man, I don't know, man. Y'all y'all just heard that brother, man. But this he ain't the only one, man. I had a lot of people uh say uh, that the most that 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 uh, that, that, uh Christ lied. I mean, every every debate. When I got done with Sakari, they said, "Who wrote Hebrews?" 
Are oh, you gonna trust the guy who wrote Hebrews over the guy who wrote Torah? No, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> if Torah was about the old covenant and Hebrews was talking about the new covenant, I will trust him. Moses said, "Listen to Christ." He didn't say, "Listen to me forever." And the guy of Hebrews was just explaining Christ's priesthood. So yeah, I'm gonna listen to that guy. And what he said, who was Luke? Did Luke have a, a Hebrew mindset? So yeah, once you get done with these scriptures, see a lot of people don't know the Bible like they think they know the Bible. So when you get done, they realize that either their doctrine is off or they're gonna question the Bible. So they rather question the Bible. And I knew the brother was Torah only anyway, but notice, I mean it's not only anyway, but notice he was he was telling talking about um, the Levitical priesthood coming back doing more more animal sacrifices. Come on, man. And then he, then we read. He said, "Yeah, yeah, I know that the priesthood was corrupt. I know it was corrupt. So if you know it was corrupt, and you know mankind is corrupt, why do you think the Father is going to redo everything again and have more corrupt people doing the Levitical priesthood again? That doesn't even make sense if we're talking about animal sacrifices. Oh, here we go, right here, brother Jacob. Come on in, brother. You next." Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, you might have to resend it. Hold on, let me, let me, uh, because it's saying I'm getting no answer for you. I'm going to exit off of it. My bad, brother. I didn't know you sent one. You can resend it. My bad. I'm going to have a better talk with this brother because at least he believes in Christ. So that's one thing that we can, we can agree on. And while we wait on the brother, and then I, I took the brother to Isaiah 66, where it showed that the Levitical priesthood wasn't going to matter no more because the, the Most High was going to make everybody Levites and priests. Really, what's going to say to that? It shows you that the, uh, it won't let me, brother. All right, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. When I get done, because uh, I know you see me climbing. Hey, when I'm done doing this real fast with my trailer, I'm going to come back in and we can start. I might have to come back out and go back in. So, everybody, we're going to do our debate. Come back in like two minutes. I should be done in two minutes. And then uh, I'm going to start with that brother, Brother Jacob. So, Brother Jacob, give me about two minutes.